Hi everyone, myself Supriya Pasnu, working as an assistant professor in civil department from Walchand Institute of Technology, Solapur. Today's class, we are going to discuss the documents required for the building permission. These are the learning outcomes. At the end of this session, the learner will be able to impart the knowledge of various documents required for the building permission. These are the document listed. First is the application or the notice. Next is the information in the notice. According to that, the documents are attached, which consist of the ownership, the title and the area, the plans to be submitted with the application, the fees and the charges, non-objection certificate. Next is the supervision, the drawing sheets and the coloring of the plans, the signing of the plan and the qualification and the competency of the architect and the engineer. So in the last session, we have seen the building permission procedure overall. So the architect or an applicant, he gives the application which is contained in the appendix A1, which is needed for the construction purpose. So from that, the supporting documents are checked, which consist in the checklist, and uh, which, which even consist of the mandatory and the optional, optional documents. So when the mandatory documents are attached, it is uh, the application is registered. So further the scrutiny is done before the payment. Here the scrutiny level is uh, divided into two levels. One level is done by the assistant town planner. And the second level of scrutiny is done by the chief council, chief officer, municipal council. So these are the stages A, B and C. So let us see what are the documents listed over here. So when the architect uh, or the applicant uh, fills the application form which is contained here in the appendix A1. So this is the stage A. Here you can see that the application notice which is needed for the development of the erection work. So whenever you want to carry out the demolishing all the alterations in any place of the building. So you have to fill the application form which is contained in the appendix A1. Here it, uh, it has to be given in the writing through a registered architect or the engineer or a supervisor. Uh, it shall be uh, it shall be submitted to a it shall be uh, submitted through a licensed uh, authority as it is in the prescribed form. So here along with the documents, uh, the plans and the statements has to be attached which shall be submitted to the municipal commissioner. So this is the appendix A1. So next here you can see that in the procedure after the application uh, filling the form, form further you have the support, submits the supporting documents as per the defined checklist, the declaration for the relaxation and the required NOCs. So here in the checklist, it consists of both the documents, that is the mandatory and the uh, optional documents. So let us see what is the mandatory documents. So this is the checklist, which consists of the XML file and the TP file. So these two file, it consists of the drawings of the buildings. So the drawings of the buildings, will, which will be nothing but the AutoCAD drawings, which will be when uploaded, it will, the drawing is traced in the system and uh, it will be registered as a, it will be uh, it will be applied as it is in the it will be registered once the drawing is uploaded the drawing is uh, traced in the system and uh, then uh, it is converted into the xml file and the tp file so this is uh, converted in the format as it is necessary for the application so next you have the original sale deed. So here is an attested copy of the original uh, sale deed or the uh, lease deed has to be attached along with the along with the form and even a copy of power of authority wherever uh, power of authority wherever, wherever necessary has to be uh, attached along with the document along with the application. Next you have the Sadbara extract or the property register or the property register card of a date not uh, more than six months before the date of the submission has to be attached. If even the tax receipt or the assessment copy of the current year, uh, these are the mandatory documents. So next you have the certified copy of the approved subdivision and the amalgamation layout of the land from the concerned authority. 
it has to be attached so the certified copy of the measurement plan of the plot or the layout of the plot of the uh, plot under development proposal the statement of the area of the holding by the triangulation method from the uh, licensed uh, architect or a, or licensed authority has to be attached so these are the document checklist which contains in the stage b so after that um, let's see what is there so here you have the uh, registration so after this uh, documentation the application is registered so here the scrutiny is done by the assistant town planner so he does the document verification and when the documents are successfully verified he decides the site visit uh, date uh, and uh, he himself or the engineer goes to the site visit and uh, he generates the enters the site uh, visit report uh, a questionnaire is drafted over the drafted on the site itself they are uh, marked over there and further he generates the reports based on the tp client so let us see what is the stage c so this is the site visit checklist for the building permission it consists of the scrutiny uh, scrutiny questions based on the site whether you have uh, is the location as per the approved layout of the town and the country planning department uh, in the answers and uh, if if any remarks are there they are plotted over there and uh, whether is the any ownership of the approach load approach road whether it is a public road or the private road or uh, are there any trees on the site if yes or no and uh, even the trees if they are going to be demolished and uh, whether any proper sanitation is provided on the site and uh, is the site within the vicinity of the structure identified by the archaeological department so all these questions are verified on the site itself and uh, actually the plan drawing uh, the drawing on the paper and on the ground it is uh, it is cross checked by the by the uh, assistant town planner so the information accompanying the notice so overall the, what is the information contained in the notice this is what the ownership the title and the area in this you have the satbara extract the measurement plan the statement of the area and third party interest if any interest is uh, created by the third party by the uh, agreement of the sale or the mortgage etc so a copy attested copy of that has to be attached along with the uh, form and is the land leased by the government or any other or any other local authority the uh, has attested copy of that has to be attached next you have the plans to be submitted in that you have a key plan or the location plan this uh, this plan has to be drawn not to a scale more than 1 is to 10000 it uh, represents the layout it represents the location and the uh, key plan of the key plan which has to be uh, which shall be submitted along with the uh, building permission so next is the site plan it is uh, based on the measurement plan so this is a plan which is drawn not to a scale more than 1 is to 500 and when the area is more than 4 hectare the the drawing can be done not to a scale more than 1 is to 1000 so next is the layout plan this plan is based on the development of the land so uh, in the layout plan uh, this drawing has to be done not to a scale more than 1 uh, less than 1 is to 500 so next uh, next is the amalgamation plan so it consists of when two or more plots are to be combined so the instead of uh, giving a separate drawing so the plans are to be amalgamated so a uh, layout of that has to be submitted along with the application so uh, next is the service plan the in the service plan the drawing can be uh, done uh, not to a scale less than 1 is to 100 this consists of the plans the elevations and the sections of the uh, sec sections of the water supply the sewer disposal next is the building plan the building plan consists of the drawing not less uh, drawing to a scale of 1 is to 100 so it consists of all the floor plans the carpet area built up area etc next is the fees and the charges so the building and the scrutiny fee it is a scrutiny fee it uh, uh, the payment of uh, a tax receipt or the payment uh, receipt of the payment has to be submitted along with the application uh, along with the document along with the documents so the payment has to be paid as per the as per prescribed by the commissioner next is the security or the deposit fee development charges 
This fee is also recommended as per the instructions given by the commissioner. The premium charges, premium charges and the tax clearance. Though, so the clearance from the any other authority like the uh, railways, anything. So a tax receipt, uh, a, a receipt from that, an attested copy of that has to be attached along with the, along with the notice, along with the application. So next we have the clearances from the other departments. So this is a clearances from the other departments like you can say the Civil Aviation Authority, Railways, the Smoke Nuisance, Def Defense Department, Archaeological Department, the Inspectorate of the Boilers. So a clearance certificate has to be attached along with the building permission documents. So finally you have the supervision, the certificate. A supervision uh, done by the architect or the super or the structural engineer, a certificate has to be attached along with the documents. So here are the some of the questions. Um, so let's see you have got the answer for this. Yes, this is the answer. These are the references. Thank you.